Auto Line on the Road at Cars MBS has been brought to you by Borg Warner. With special thanks to the Center for Automotive Research. Arthur Brown is an industrial designer with the Continental Group, and they've got this Dodge Ram pickup that they've stuffed with all kinds of different technology. So, Arthur, you got to tell me what the heck you've put in this vehicle, and I'm not sure where to start. What do you want to start with? This? Okay, well, the main thing to point out is this is a engineering development vehicle that shows centralized architecture. And so what's special about centralized architecture is it really represents the future. The future in that current vehicles have a lot of different computers controlling all the new features in them. And as we've added more features to cars because of all this new digital content, it's starting to become really complicated to kind of have all these things network and communicate and share information. So what centralized architecture does, it moves all this to basically all these separate computers becoming one single computer that controls everything. And that's what this vehicle is demonstrating. So what's with the mirror here? What are you showing off here? So the mirror is just one of the examples of all the different features that we're driving off of one computer now. Mm -hmm. So all these displays you see here, all the cameras that are integrated into the vehicle, they're all being driven off of one computer. And we're just showing the potential for that. So as a development vehicle, we were kind of exploring the capabilities of this single processor, what it could actually do. So the processor gives you the opportunity not only to link all these things together, but maybe even try new stuff all together? Yeah, from a development standpoint, for sure. So let's talk about the screen that's in the A pillar, which I think is really cool. What's this about? So this is just an example. Again, we're showing that A, this, this system can drive an additional display there. But the function of this particular one is really safety related, where we're eliminating a blind spot for a driver. So from my head position, that's basically making that trend, that pillar appear transparent. That's awesome because pillars today for rollover protection mm -hmm. are so thick yeah. that yeah. they do create blind spots. So what you've, you're doing here is eliminating the blind yes. spot. Yeah. Really cool. Then above uh, the instrument cluster, it looks like you got another cluster. What's that? So this is just a forward information display. And again, really this was more to again, explore the capabilities of this particular processor. Mm -hmm. You can, we're showing you're driving a display. This could as well be a HUD. But again, we're just showing all in all, this vehicle currently is driving seven displays off of this one processor. Can you tell me whose processor you're using? Really, or rather not, uh, it's really- Too, too hush-hush right now, yeah, huh? Well, yeah. it's, it's, the, the, the concept isn't really based on a specific uh, partner or relationship. We're just, again, exploring the capability. Tesla is the first one that's gone with a, a centralized uh, architecture. Is this the way the rest of the industry is going? We're seeing that, yeah. So every OEM has their own strategy of how they're trying to approach it, but we're in discussions with several OEMs on HPC strategies. And HPC is, again, an acronym for High Performance Computer. One of the reasons I've heard that they have not gone in the past to centralized computing, even though Tesla got there years ago, mm -hmm. is you've got a lot of legacy systems, especially legacy safety systems, and they don't want to mess with that. And that uh, centralized computing would require a total redo of those. Is, is that right, or do have I heard right on this? Well, it's one of the, you, to that point, one of the advantages of Continental approaching HPCs or centralized computing strategies is we have experience with all these systems and vehicles, right? Mm -hmm. So whereas now we, we focus on individual modules for these different systems, but now we can bring that all into a single hypervisor because again, we have expertise and integration capability for all that. But to your point, one of the methods of approaching protecting these systems, the safety aspect from them, is you use something called a hypervisor. And basically the hypervisor, hypervisor helps keep information managed between safety critical systems and things like infotainment. Gotcha. When do you think the legacy automakers, can you give me a time frame when they're going to have this kind of centralized architecture? You're probably gonna see more automakers start to show these in 2025 time frame. Gotcha. So we're, we're looking three, four years into the future. Right? Yeah. What's in front of us here? Awesome. Arthur, thanks so much for your time today. Really interesting what you're doing. Hey, I appreciate your time, John. Thank you. The world is changing at an ever-increasing pace. No matter what the mode of transportation, there is always the need for an efficient propulsion system. And that's exactly what Borg Warner has been doing since the earliest days of the automotive industry. 